Sergey Kovalev makes the headlines yet again, but for all the wrong reasons. What is going on with this guy? He has been popped for being dirty on synthetic testosterone. Apparently, his team is claiming that there might be some type of dirty play with his uh, supplements, so they want to get that tested out and get a B sample in order for him to hopefully clear his name out and go on with the fight. But it seems like the fight is either canceled or on its way to being canceled for this January 30th on the zone. I know Beck the Bully, who's an upcoming prospect from Uzbekistan, wanted the fight to continue even with Kovalev having popped dirty. But I don't think that's a smart thing to do. And I think the rest of the boxing world is also in agreement, especially because Kovalev has killed a fighter in the ring before and they wouldn't want another atrocity of that nature to happen again and this time there will be uh some foul play at hand uh the Uzbekistan prospect went to twitter and he let out his frustrations letting everybody know that he wanted this fight and an article over at boxing scene discussing this fight with back the bully and uh sergey kovalev the following was stated this fight just didn't happen out of the blue we pushed hard as a team to get this opportunity this was told to boxing scene by Beck the Bully himself. I know that I'm ready for this fight. People shouldn't look at my pro record to assume I lack experience. Look back to everything I have accomplished in my amateur career. I don't like talking, but I said it last night. It makes no difference to me. Just put him in the ring. Let us fight regardless. He continued with, we knew when pursuing this fight that we would have to concede a weight advantage. This was the requirement asked by my opponent to fight at a maximum weight of 178 pounds. But as long as we train hard and focus on what it takes to win, it won't be hard for me in the ring. This will prove that I am ready to fight for the world championship in three weight divisions, being at 160, 168, and 175, which is very adventurous for this young prospect out of Uzbekistan. Unfortunately for him, this fight seems to have been canceled. The following is also another article from Boxing Scene who broke the story out earlier in the day. Uh, adverse analytical findings, IRMS, isotope ratio mass spectrometry, results are consistent with exogenous origin of testosterone and metabolites according to the letter a copy which was obtained by boxing scene the letter sent to the california state athletic commission the association of boxing commissions golden boy promotions and main events added that mr kovalev has the right to promptly request analysis of the b sample at his expense the article continues with we are aware of the adverse findings from vada Main event CEO Kathy Duva, Kovalev's longtime promoter, told Boxing Scene, Sergey Kovalev has been proven to be a clean fighter throughout the many years that he has been tested by Vada. Vada was contracted for this fight at his insistence, as he has requested for almost all of his fights going back several years. He maintains that he did not purposefully ingest any banned substances. We have made arrangements to have his supplements tested for contamination and will request that Vada test his B sample. So it seems like they are going to pay out of their own pocket to attempt to clear their name out. And they're hoping to proceed with the fight at the end of this month or perhaps reschedule it for a future date if they are able to clear Kovalev's name. However, I don't know if that's going to be possible. There's many skeptics in the world of boxing and one of them being a longtime writer in Dan Raphael who went on Twitter and stated that he has covered many of these type of instances in the sport of boxers popping up dirty and never has he seen a B sample come back clean and clear a fighter's name. So it doesn't look very hopeful for Kovalev even in a B sample, but who's to say that he won't be able to go through and clear his name out with the proper procedures. This looks very unfortunate for Kovalev, whose last fight was a knockout, and it was a brutal knockout against Canelo Alvarez in 2019. So he was looking at returning to a fight after almost a year and a half of inactivity against a promising prospect. Perhaps if he did take these performance enhancement drugs, perhaps he just didn't want to be a stepping stone for the younger prospect but who really knows he did have already a weight advantage so maybe he was having issues with cutting weight whatever it may be sergey kovalev looks to be on his last leg if not this could potentially be the last straw for his career he had been on a downward spiral ever since his uh losses to andre ward 
he had been looking like he was on a decline he was knocked down in the fight previously to canelo alvarez then he was brutally knocked out in that fight with saul canelo alvarez he has also had several issues outside of the ring with extracurricular activities where he has been seen as a racist and has had issues with women among other things so to cap this off this just makes it far worse I know Beck the Bully wanted to go through with the fight, but again, I don't think anybody would want that type of dirt on their hands, especially if Kovalev is to beat him and put him in a critical condition. Kovalev has had a body on his record before, so if that were to happen again, and the boxing world already knowing that he is a dirty fighter as of right now, then it would just look far worse and i don't think anybody's going to proceed with that one more thing and this was on an article over at the athletic so check it out again the link is provided in the description box and it finishes off with a suspension is likely for kovalev pending the results of the b sample being tested golden boy promotions owed kovalev one fight worth 2.5 million dollars golden boy promotions owed kovalev one fight for 2.5 million dollars part of the deal for Cole left to fight Canelo so back when he fought Canelo he had set himself up to win whether he lost or not because he would have one remaining fight under Golden Boy Promotions at a 2.5 million dollar price tag so the article finished this off with with the positive test canceling the bout Golden Boy could look to avoid the agreement and escape its obligation to Kovalev and if that happens Kovalev will likely have to settle for far less money the next time he fights so what it seems like now not only is Kovalev looking to be missing out of 2.5 million dollars which is a pretty decent payday after a significant loss against a smaller fighter but he came up dirty so if they aren't able to clear that up and they still go on through with the fight which it seems like Beck the Bully's team doesn't want to give this chance up to fight Kovalev which means that they most likely will reschedule even if he is a dirty fighter but if they do go through with that He's looking at a significant loss in his payday. So he has really ruined it for himself. I know the sport could be very unforgiving when it comes to cheats. So this is not looking good for Kovalev. I think this is the tail end of his career. I think this is it. I think this could potentially have tarnished his reputation in the sport from being once a formidable name and one of the top pound for pound fighters in the world. He has dropped so low his fall from grace has been something intriguing to follow unfortunately for him not for the right reasons his career has been one of those hard to look at but can look away from type of scenarios either way let me know what you guys think is Kovalev dirty will this fight be rescheduled and will you be watching this fight if it is rescheduled with a dirty Kovalev let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and like always make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for a lot more boxing content this is Shay over at King Me Boxing signing out